Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week, we follow Jeff Garrett on the last day of the game season as he experiences some of Lincolnshire's finest game bird shooting. Plus, we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Yeah, we're back up here in uh, Lincolnshire with uh, a very good friend of mine, John Pyle. Uh, been coming up here a lot of years now, and uh, one of the days of the year that I really do look forward to. Well, so we're at the end of the year, end of the last, or well, the last day of the year. Uh, it's mainly John's mates and people that have helped him out through the year. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Yeah. All right. Guy, you're just this side. Five, nine, five. Yeah. I'm uh, using my uh, Caesar gun, 32 inch barrel, 20 bore. Uh, I just, I've used it now for game for six or seven years now. I used to shoot uh, another one, but I've changed to this one and I really do like it, feel very comfortable with it. Uh, we're shooting Ely VIP, um, 30 gram five shot, uh, which are a good killing, good stopping cartridge. I do like them. They go well with the gun and uh, we'll be using these for the rest of the day. We've just shot the first drive, which is Caban, which uh, I was standing back gun, uh, killed half a dozen partridges in a cock pheasant there, which was pleasing. Uh, front gun shot well. Uh, we're now just waiting for the second drive. Um, but I'm standing back gun again, uh, and we'll just see what happens. There's a bit of breeze, but as you can probably see by the way the the mist and the and the rain has come in. Um, We've got some, I thought the weather conditions was going to rain early in the morning and then drift away and be clear for the day, but obviously the BBC weathermen have got it all wrong again because it's now coming down to rain. Um, so uh, one thing that we'll do, we'll be testing out the deer Hunter Highland jacket, which uh, so far has proved to be a very, very good shooting jacket. One for warmth, two for waterproof and three, just for a nice jacket that I can just move about in and swing the gun and not feel hindered in any way. We're now waiting for uh, the drive, I think it's called Caban Return, which has got some nice, really nice undulating hills with a bit of maze right on the top of the hill. Um, and if the fence and park just come back, the potential here is to be really good, so I'm expecting uh, some good birds to come across here. Hopefully some will come over me and hopefully I'll be able to connect with a few. Yeah, there's one or two that one or two have been popping out the top there. It's probably where the beaters are coming in from that end. Uh, they're waiting for the beaters to come across the field here to bring this bit of maize in. And once they start coming in, I expect a bit more action to come through the main line and then we can see what's what's going on.
Yeah, another, another good drive there. Nice lot of partridges on there. This time of year, lovely lot of partridges on there. Mainly partridges coming off the hill. A lot of them were just swinging down the hedge to the gun on my left. At, well, he had a nice stand. A lot of the birds later on went across the middle line here. Uh, the guy in front of me shot very well. I don't know who he is, but he shot very well. Uh, I think I managed to pick kill three there and got a couple there that the dogman will pick up out the hill behind us. So, uh, but it's very good drive, nice drive. Leave it, Tom. Come it. Leave it. Get down, we'll get okay, back out. Right. West, um, yeah. This is a new one for me. Um, never been on this bit of ground before. Uh, I'm not sure how long John's had it to for the years, um, but it just looks absolutely fantastic. Just wherever you look, there's dips, there's valleys. There's hills, bits of cover on top of the hills. So it just looks like it's all gonna, you know, if you get any part just over here, it looks like they're gonna be some real stunners. I just hope the weather, as normal this year, the weather's sort of closing in a bit, we've got a bit of rain. Luckily that we've come through a severe bit of fog to get here, but um, it's, uh, it's clear here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see some good stunning partridges here. Yeah, that was good there. Uh, first time I've shot this. Uh, where we stood here, birds were coming off there, just climbing. Uh, I killed eight really, really good ones, including a right and left in the middle there that was really pleasing. And, uh, well, can't fault that drive at all. It was just fantastic, you know. Eight really good partridges there. Well, this should be interesting. Um, back gun again, which is, you know, I don't mind being back gun at all. But we're back gun behind the young Mr. Garrod here. So it'll be very interesting to see how he performs and whoever comes out with the high moral ground after this drive.
long. Yeah, another good drive there. Um, I think I killed seven partridges, a nice cock pheasant there, and then got done up right at the end. There's cock pheasant come out there to beat all cock pheasants. Three guns in front, shot at it, all had a double. Chance to make a name for myself, had a double at it and absolutely missed it completely. So, although I finished the drive on a bit of a bum note, killed some good birds there. Um, nice to see Justin standing in front there, killing some good birds as well. One hen bird in particular that uh, should stick in his mind. Um, so I don't mind standing mind, my young lad, watching him shoot like that. Fantastic. And then rain six to nine. So I'm hitting it here. Yeah, about yeah, right. right. World's full of Michael fishes. The drive's called Roman Holes. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's another one which I've never actually been this end of it. I've always been that way, the sort of like a back gun walking up behind the beaters. Um, so this is all a new experience. I assume I just bring everything through, push it through here, and then the birds will come out across into these trees here. Um, one good thing is that it stopped raining, which typical right at the end of the day. Um, we've got a little bit of blue sky up there, a little tiny bit of sun trying to poke through. Um, so wind dropped though, which is, I suppose that's one thing when you get uh, you get the sunshine and the uh, blue sky, but the wind's dropped, but at least it stopped raining. Uh, we just have to see what happens from here onwards. Yes, um, uh, well it's the last day of the season and like I say early on traditionally you know I've been coming up now with John uh, I've known him for, for 19, 20 years now so I've been coming up here the last day for, for most of those years um, shame that the forecast has got the weather wrong a little bit but that didn't dampen the day and we've just had another fantastic day um, you know to see all the guys here all John's sort of mates and people that's helped him out all through the winter, uh, you know, the winter time and, and some of the summer time uh, to see that the day that he's put on for them, um, you know, everyone's going to go home happy. But I've killed some good ones, um, got behind a couple of people that I probably shouldn't have done that shot a little bit too well in front of me, but that's all part of the parcel. Um, yeah, killed some nice ones through the day. Uh, real pleasing when I stood behind Justin on one drive and uh, watched how good he shot. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's nice when you, you know, you can see your youngsters um, coming on and, and uh, shooting the way they do. So it's pleasing for that. Uh, yeah, all in all, I've had a really good day. Just like to say, listen, mate. Again, yep. 
thanks very much, yep. mate. It's been a fantastic nice. day. Nice to see you again. Yeah, Jeff. good boy. Yep. Jeff Garrett there, filling his boots in Lincolnshire. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The Countryside Alliance will appeal to the Charity Commission after it was refused charitable status. Though it already has a charitable arm, the Countryside Alliance Foundation, the entire alliance applied to become a charity two years ago. But the Commission said its activities do not fall within a description of purpose which is recognised in law as charitable. Alliance Chief Executive Tim Bonner pointed out that the League Against Cruel Sports is a charity, despite its constant engagement in political lobbying. George Digweed has won the Essex Masters for an incredible eighth time. His score of 191 was better than runner-up Sam Green, with Steve Clark, Henry Arnold and Phil Gray all tying for third place. In the ladies' category, Cheryl Hall was triumphant, finishing three ahead of Georgia Moo. Carl Bloxham won a tight race for the top spot in veterans. There'll be a full report in the next issue of Clay Shooting. Rural communities in Wales are getting a funding boost to the tune of £223 million. This money is part of the Rural Development Programme for Wales and is designed to give land managers confidence in the post-EU economy. Bask said the money could be used by people who shoot to help them complete management tasks and create new habitats and better supply chains for Welsh produce. And finally, there's a new campaign to put an end to online abuse of shooters and hunters. This comes after Facebook refused to remove comments from its site relating to a retired huntsman. One called him a useless excuse for a human and another said he needs to die, but Facebook bizarrely said these do not break its community guidelines. MPs recently told Facebook it has a terrible reputation for dealing with abuse. Now the Countryside Alliance has started a page on campaign site Thunderclap to take up the fight against online threats. Head to the address on screen to support the campaign. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of BASC, it's time to join now. BASC, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.